Okay. Um, hello, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> uh, my name is Shinya Fuji. My name is Shinya Fuji. I'm an assistant professor of this faculty uh, of environmental and information studies here at the Keio University. And I am also the director of Neuro Music Lab and also the X Music Lab here at the Keio SUC. Uh, my interest is music and also rhythm. As you can see here, there's a drum pad here. And then today in the lecture, I'd like you guys to be here on the stage to play some drums. So please check it out. Uh, let me, uh, so this is the, uh, today's talk, the contents of this, uh, my lecture. So first I'm gonna talk about some introduction. And second, I'm gonna talk about some music, about music classes at the KOSFC, and also about my research and some take home messages. Let me introduce myself. Hello again. So, but you guys will figure it out. And then that's, I think it's kind of standing for what the SFC likes. As Hagino Sensei said, uh, SFC really uh, follow the spirits of um, Fukuzawa Sensei. And Fukuzawa Sensei really like independence and self respect. And I really followed my passion and then that's the reason why I'm here. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit story about that. Um, this is a university I experienced, so quite a diverse background I have. Even though here at the KOSST I'm teaching, but I'm also having the really uh, broad experience at some several universities. Um, actually, I went to music school, and then I learned drums. And because I went to university, but I haven't motivated to study. What I was doing is, for example, sitting over there and sleeping and not motivated at all. And I was thinking all the time what the university is, what the research is. Um, that's what's me. But um, I found out myself what I, should I do in my life. And then after that, uh, I figured it out how to enjoy the university life. And I went to Kyoto University and then uh, Todai, the University of Tokyo. And after that, I went to Harvard Medical School to research about the musician's brain. And after that, I want to apply the knowledge of the music science into, to help people after disorders. So I went to University of Toronto to help people after stroke by using the music. And after that, I came back to Japan and here at the SSC, I'm teaching. And Right now, uh, I'm directing the um, Neuro Music Lab, but there are several faculties who is really cool to researching on the science of the music. For example, there is a faculty, uh, his name is Patrick Savage, and uh, his lab is called Comp Music Lab, uh, Computational Comparative Music Musicology. And he's also a singer, and I actually sing the Japanese Minyo, even though he's uh, from four, you know, the other countries. And also, recently, Nao Tokui, uh, he joined to the KOSSC, and he's really famous uh, by doing the combination of artificial intelligence with the DJ, so to augment our creativity. So using the technology to augment our creativity, so that's his uh, interest. So we have a really cool um, music science institute at KOS University SSC, and also the X Music Laboratory here. And I'm teaching the class called uh, Music and the Brain. Uh, my main interest is about why we enjoy the music and why on earth humans enjoy the music, first of all. So that's my question. And then in my class, I'm teaching about the brain structure and the functions and then how we can understand why we enjoy music. And also, actually, I'm teaching drums and percussions here at the university. And maybe you guys haven't heard in Japan, like um, drums can be taught, but I created the class. And the SFC are very welcome to create the new classes. And they are very acceptable, you know? So that's why I created this. And I'm actually teaching drums to the students. And this is the workshop. And many famous musicians come to the SFC. 
For example, this is the super famous drummer. His name is Ralph Roll. Uh, he's uh, playing drums uh, in Chic Knight Rogers' band, and he came here. And this is the video when he came to the campus. So, and also there's other classes um, called the Music and the Culture class by Dr. Savage. And in his class, um, he's teaching a lot of diversity in music and inviting a lot of musicians who play various musical instruments. And you can actually experience what kind of you know, uh, culture the other country has by playing the musical instruments. And also, for example, uh, Maori people came to the campus and then they taught us uh, what their music is about. So uh, diversity is very important and then we are learning through music. And also there's a famous professor, called, uh, his name is uh, Akira Wakita-san, and he's a super cool artist and he's collaborating with um, Komuro Tetsuya-san, Tetsuya Komuro. And he performed at the Red Bull Music Festival and really succeeded. And also, uh, this happened yesterday. So we had the DJ workshop here yesterday with the Pioneer DJ company. And uh, actually, the, it was really fun. Pioneer DJ brought us uh, uh, DJ um, equipment to every student. And then we learned how to set up the beat and how to mix the music together. I haven't heard like you know, DJ workshop or classes will be held in, at the university, but it's actually happening here. So many music, um, many new things are happening here. And we actually had the DJ night at the campus. This is the campus. And this is the, our lab space. And with the visual effect, we are having the uh, you know, uh, party, but not party, but classes, actually. And then we are exchanging the ideas. What, would be, what we should do, you know, what should we do through the music power and to help the people and to do the new things through the art, like this. And actually, he's performing the AI DJ things, you know, at the campus. Okay, by the way, you guys right now know how unique this campus is, I think, I hope. So let me ask you guys, what are the ingredients for unique research what are the ingredients for unique research as you guys know oh you know kssc very unique but actually to do the unique research what it would be the ingredients for that yes please courage to start great courage to start it's very important right anybody else yes please Curiosity. Oh, thank you very much. Curiosity. Okay. Anybody else? Yes, please. Creativity. Oh, creativity of the same? Great. Anybody? Oh, okay. Yes. Hey. Combining different topics. Ah, combining different topics. That's also very important. Any other ingredients? That's all the things we need for unique research. Okay, so that's our start. And <laughs> curiosity. And that's the, you know, of course, combining the th things, you know, that's very important. So I think, so this is my answer. I think it's not the complete answer, but my per personal answer. I think the ingredients at least we need to do the unique research is passion. And thank you, <laughs> curiosity. And I, I also think measure, Hagino Sensei said, analyze, measure. And also, I think, think. After measurement, you have to think what is this? And at the university, you have to think with the friends and then faculty members, you have to think about your topic. And also, I think, never say never. This is very important ingredients, I think. I think you guys have a lot of hopes and wishes to achieve. And then sometimes 
even though nobody says you can't do that, but sometimes you restrict yourself. I can't do this, but nobody actually telling you that. So you 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 shouldn't say never say. You know you never say never. Okay. So why I uh, I realized this. So when I was a student, I was like this. <laughs> this is kind of <laughs> very. Um, uh, when I was a uh, teenager and the 20s, I was playing drums all the time. Um, but I, as I said, I wasn't motivated to do the research at the university because I couldn't find myself. I was just playing the drums, but it wasn't unique. There are many more drummers in the world and many more musicians. And I just playing the drums, but it was not unique. And I couldn't combine what I should research at the university. But um, one day I realized, uh, actually a professor told me, um, at the university, the most important thing is you have to follow your passion or you, what your curiosity is. And my curiosity is, of course, drums and how to be better at playing the drums. So I just followed my passion and curiosity so the first things I did was to research, uh, to search about the papers, journal papers, on the uh, database called the PubMed. And then I put in the keyword dramas in 2002. And then I found this, only six articles. And even though I played drums and I, I was thinking about how to control my muscles and then body movements, but in the world there was no research on muscle activity or movements about the dramas. And I was so shocked. Oh, why on earth there are a lot of dramas, but they are not thinking of about the movements and the muscles in the world, scientifically. And then, hey, then I should do this at the university. So I just followed my passion and the curiosity and to play drums. And then I started res uh, researching on drums. Passion, curiosity. So even though I wasn't motivated at the beginning when I was a freshman, but after I realized, oh, I should follow my passion and curiosity, I really motivated. Um, I, I, I noticed how to use the environment at the university. So there are a lot of faculty members here. And then when I talk to the professors, I really motivated to study about the drums and the musicians, how they control the body movements. And then I'm interested in the brains of the musicians. They actually helped me and advised me a lot. So if you want to do something, there are a lot of cool professors here who can help you guys. And actually, I, I was helped by a professors and then he actually gave me a chance to talk in front of the many people, even though I was sitting there. But one year later, I was standing up here and then teaching about the, how to control my bodies to play better drums. And also, I'm going to talk about the other ingredients, measure and think. How many times do, uh, can you uh, hit the drums in 60 seconds? This question, you guys can imagine, right? But how many times do you guys think by imagining this? 500? 600? Lower than 500? Oh, OK, many people. Wow, cool. Let's measure. 500 or less than that. OK. Um, does anybody else want to try this? This is a machine to measure the number of drumming. Yes, please. Come. Props. Thank you very much. Yay. <laughs> but, you know, this is the example, you know, you can imagine it, but, you know, actually maybe different. And then this actually tells you what the actual number is and that you can have a chance to rethink about it, right? Actually more than 500. But this is the world's fastest drummer. The fastest man in the world can do this 1,208 beats per minute. So it equals to 20 beats per second. 20 times. 20. 20, 20, 20. And then he, <laughs> he doesn't feel fatigue 
and he can continue it. And a super refined uh, muscular control and a brain control of the body movements is happening in his performance. And I was so curious about this, and actually I measured his muscular activities. And I appeared on the Discovery Channel about this topic because I was the only one to research about the drummers. And when they make the TV program about the world's fastest drummer, they ask me whether I can explain about the mechanisms. And now, as I said, 2002, there was no research on drummers. But now, after 2000, uh, 2019, if you search drummers, uh, some weird guy named Fuji is doing a lot of work. And now there are drummers research here. OK, so let me summarize it. So I think the ingredients for unique research is at least, I think, passion, curiosity, measure, think, never say never is are really important. And take home messages, uh, music science and education at the KUSSC, I would say very unique. And ingredients for unique research, passion, curiosity, measure, think, and never say never. And I would say uh, KOSSC, but not only me, but the other faculty members are really, really, really unique. And they are you know, interested in very specific topic, but doing the very cutting edge unique research. And I'm really diverse. So if you're interested in, please come to the SFT. Thank you. <laughs>